Beijing's bus system is probably one of the best ways to get around in the city. Especially on days like this, it's beautiful outside, you can sit down, and the bus is empty. There are days when the bus is super crowded, but this isn't one of them. Probably one of the worst things I find about the bus system here in Beijing is it's very unreliable time-wise. Technically they're supposed to go about every 10 minutes, some of them, some of them a little faster. But there are times when you will get four or five of the exact same number back to back and then you'll wait 30 to 40 minutes for another one. But it's still a lot less crowded and a lot more pleasant than the subway. You can actually ride the bus and get the view. It's really nice. And with fares ranging only from one to two kwai per trip, it's pretty good. The only real problem that I have with the bus system is unless you speak Chinese or can read Chinese, you really don't know where you're going or what you're doing. Let's look at it. Not even in pinyin, only in characters. Here you have it, and it has your stop in pinyin, but Unless you know where you're going and you already know what bus to get on, you kind of screw. However, you can get on Baidu Maps, which is like Google Maps, type in where you want to go, and it will tell you the best bus, the fastest bus to get there. So that will help. It'll tell you what bus number to get on and what stop in Pinion to get off of. And then when you do get on the bus, the bus sign that tells you the stops on the bus will have opinion so it's easier to read. So if you don't have a subway card, you can actually pay this lady here on the buses. You just tell her what stop she tells you is the two quiet. And then that's on the double-sided buses. You also see the sign. Please get off at the front or rear door. You get on in the middle, get off at the front or the back. Now, if it's a smaller bus, you would get on the front and put your money in the same little meter thing like that. Again, too quiet. A typical trip on the subway from my school to my house is about 30 minutes. It doesn't take long. It's really easy, just get on and get off, uh, but I do have a transfer, so I have to transfer part of that, and that transfer, it, to me, is a really, really bad thing. That's a, one of the busiest transfers. However, here, I get to take two buses, again, so a transfer, and I do have to wait quite a while for the second bus sometimes, but it's a lot more convenient and a lot more efficient, and usually it can take the same time. Then you will scan to get off and go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the buses and how they operate here in Beijing. I'm in no way saying they are better or worse than other bus systems in the world. I'm just telling you what it's like, exactly what you have to deal with here. So don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be updated every time I upload a new video, click subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in moving to China, check out some of the videos on the left. There are YouTubers all over China doing videos about their city to help you whenever you decide to move to China. 
Until next time. Zaijin. <laughs>